It's your boy Sid and welcome to the Dallas Cowboys for Life channel. Please, if you're taking the time to view my videos, please don't forget to click that subscribe button below. I'm trying trying to get to 100 subscribers before the new year. Um, big things to come in my channel 2020 and for me to be able to do those things, I need to get my subscribers up. So please support the Cowboys Nation and please don't forget to click that subscribe button below. So, let's talk about the news going around in the NFL. Um, I know the Browns have made some moves. Um, I believe they fired the general, well, didn't fire the general manager and then decided to part ways. Um, Washington picked up a new head coach, Ron Rivera, from the Carolina Panthers, uh, which uh, he got fired from uh, the Carolina Panthers back in December. Um, so he's making moves. Uh, I know the Giants are interviewing Chris Richard, uh, the assistant uh, Dallas Cowboys head coach for the head, co uh, head coach job with the New York Giants. Um, so as you see, Chris Richard making that move. Um, so it's, I guess the rumors are true what's, what's being said. The coaches that have contracts that are expiring have basically been told, uh, go find a job elsewhere. Now, the only job that obviously is still not coming out and being said to us directly is Jason Garrett. Um, now let's talk about this a little bit. I watched Undisputed this morning and they were all talking and they brought up an interesting topic that Jason Garrett, before becoming the head coach for the Dallas Cowboys, had a close relationship with Jerry Jones um, and has developed an even stronger relationship throughout the years know family dinners weddings and and so on and uh, they have a very close close uh, relationship now with that being said that brings up the same thing that I ended up saying yesterday um, Jerry Jones and uh, Jason Garrett have a very close relationship and Jerry Jones likes the Jason Garrett that just becomes a yes man for him um, yes um, to everything that Jerry Jones tells him to do, doesn't stand up to Jerry Jones, has no backbone, and doesn't actually stand up to the players. Uh, the players, I don't believe that the players are scared of, of Jason Garrett at all. Um, I don't think that they they care. And I, I said that in my previous videos that that's the problem that we have, and we need a head coach that's going to be able to whip these players into line. And I'm not asking for a military coach, but just a coach that's able to say, this is not acceptable, this is what I need you to do, so please go out there and do it. Uh, and Jason Garrett is not that that person for that job. Um, I ended up saying in my video yesterday that Jason Garrett's uh, contract expired two days after regular season. I apologize, um, that was some misinformation. Jason Garrett contracts actually expires on January 14th. So everybody out there that's looking for um, Jason Garrett to be fired, guys, there's no reason to fire him. His contract is expiring January 14th. So it's not that he's going to be fired. It's just whether his contract is going to be renewed or not. Um, if they don't renew it, it's not a firing. Your contract expired and we're looking elsewhere. So we need to stop looking for... Um, that whole, oh, is he going to get fired? He's not going to get fired. We're going to either renew his contract or we're not. Um, so, yeah. That's where we are at the moment. Uh, again, uh, the interview finished today. Jason Garrett was seen walking in with a binder. I believe he had uh, some conversations with some players, um, I guess with their future going forward with the Dallas Cowboys or, or not. Uh, he was seen exchanging numbers with certain people, I believe, just to remain in contact. Uh, he also was saying bye to certain people. So there's signs that uh, the Dallas Cowboys are moving away from him. But then there's also that, yeah, maybe they won't because of the relationship that uh, Jason Garrett and Jerry Jones has. Um, they have together. So... Again, we're going to have to wait to see what happens. I really hope that we decide to move away from Jerry's, Jason Garrett and start looking for a new head coach. Uh, we've also we've all obviously released some of the coaches already, so some moves are being done. Uh, I'm happy with that. Let's uh, 
I guess we're not starting 2020 like I wanted with uh, an answer when it comes to Jason Garrett. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. But that's the Dallas Cowboys. They always do this. And I believe that it's a strategic, uh, strategy move from them uh, to keep people, you know, wanting to know what's going on with the Dallas Cowboys, for the media to be out there, for the fans to be tweeting. And um, obviously this brings a lot of attention to the Dallas Cowboys. And I think that's the type of, uh, that's that's how the, the Cowboys, uh, Dallas Cowboys like to move. Um, they always let us know at the last, last, last minute what's going on. And I believe they're going to do the same thing with Jason Garrett. This is going to be something that's going to be dragged out um, every day now uh, to build the hype. And then once they do decide whether they're going to move away from him or not, and we bring in a new head coach, um, that the big hype is going to be around the Dallas Cowboys. I, I don't know if you guys realize, but I, I, I see it. And being a Dallas Cowboys fan, the Dallas Cowboys are always the center of, a center of attention for everything. Everything. Whether it's a player getting arrested, whether it's a contract negotiation, whether it's a, a, a Jason Garrett story or a Jerry Jones story, you never hear about other other football teams so much in the media. The Dallas Cowboys definitely um, get a lot of attention, and that's why we have such a big uh, fan base. People love it. So we're going to have to wait. I want to wish everyone a happy new year, 2020. Please, again, I'm asking you, please don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Uh, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers before midnight. Please help me out. Uh, it's your boy, Sid, and I'm out.